this video we're going to talk about lookups in integration services. Now the example files that you can obtain from the address being displayed on screen at the moment um, is for a SQL 2008 install. Um, so if you are a SQL 2005 this video is still relevant however you won't be able to follow along at home um, with the example files that I do provide on the on the website. You need to unzip it into the C drive so you'll have this folder called PC Teach Me and inside there are a series of different folders database external files install projects and so forth so what I'm just going to do is just jump into SQL um, just go and refresh my SQL instance here and as you can see I have no PC teach me database um, present so what we do is inside the PC teach me folder um, you'll see an install folder so if you go into there and all you got to do is double click on the install.bat um, at which point it should go through fine. I've put a pause command in so if there were any problems you would see them listed underneath um, and just press any key to complete so all being well um, if we go back into SQL Management Studio and just refresh we should now see we've got a PC Teach Me um, database present. Um, so what are we going to do with these lookups? Well let's just go through the data. Well we have inside this folder an external um, data folder with an employee's XLS file. So if you go and open that up, just to have a look at it, you will see inside here that you've just got a list of people's names, ages, date of birth, location, which is what we're going to use on this video to um, deal with lookups, and telephone, salary information, and what department they're in. Um, the data is in a state of um, a bit of a mixed bag, really, because we have things like USA in the location. That's because whatever system they've keyed it into, because the field said location, there was nothing to say specifically look at city. So that's one of the challenges we're going to look at in lookups, is how do we actually um, resolve that USA um, option. So with that um, spreadsheet looked at, what we're going to do is use that as a means of importing in and then ascertaining what region each of those locations should be sitting inside. Because we've already got regions in our database, I would want to associate the re region ID with those particular locations. So let's go and have a look inside um, bids now. Um, so in bids, if you just do file open project, what you need to do is um, get from PC Teach Me to the projects folder, um, SSIS, and then the lookup example. And if you open that up, you should see the same as what I've got on screen here. Okay, so we have inside here three particular packages basic, intermediate, and advanced. So we're going to start off with the basic package. So if you just open that up, and um, I'll explain what the structure of this is because it, it follows suit on the basic, the intermediate and the advanced ones. Um, so to start with we have just an SQL task running at the top which is just going to truncate the employees table and any associated table with this import. Um, it just means so that you can run it over and over again and you're not going to get more and more data. It's just going to clear it down, put the data in so you can do trial and error with it. Um, so all the magic happens inside this import data flow task. So I've just clicked on it and we go to data flow and now we can get into the nuts and bolts of it. So to start with I have a data flow source of employee so I've opened that up just simply it's just picking up that particular sheet so when we preview I just get a list of all my employees present. I'm going to cancel that and then underneath that a derived option to tidy the data um, that will become more applicable very shortly but what we're going inside here to do is we're just correcting the age and also um, we are doing something with the location to tidy it up which I will come back to shortly and then this is where the magic happens we have the lookup task itself which is located here and it's just dragged and dropped on and then you put your data pipe onto it by dragging from the derived into that particular area so if we open that up slight difference between SQL 2005 and 2008 here um, in all its purposes the lookup functions the same but there's some more goodies in 2008 um, specifically the cache mode is available in 2005 but not as well um, on its performance um, settings um, but we do have full partial and no cache um, so what does it mean well full cache just means load everything that I want in my lookup table 
um, and store it in memory so therefore it doesn't have to hit the hard disk over and over again so it all depends on what you're looking at if you're looking at um, a series of regions the data list is probably going to be quite small and what I mean by quite small it's going to be less than say 10,000 rows. Um, if it's going to be a larger list that you're looking at, for example you've got an invoice and you wanted to obtain the invoice ID, you could have millions of invoices. So in that case then a full cache is not a good option. You're better off using partial or no cache for that. So it all depends on how big the data you're going to refer to is. Um, so in our case because it's regions I'm going to leave it on full cache um, and underneath it asks what connection type. This is the new part in 2008. You now can create cache connection managers which just means that there are connection managers specifically to be stored in memory rather than being referenced on the, uh, the I.O. So there's some performance benefits by using cache connection manager but for the purposes of this video we're looking at the lookup function itself rather than the cache. So I'm leaving it on OLEDB connection manager which means connect to a table in my data source or another um, spreadsheet and underneath it we then have specify how to handle rows this is new in again in 2008 but the same options were available in 2005 but in a, on a different setting um, so what we want to tell it to do here is when you look at this lookup table which has got the region and the ID in what if it doesn't find a match what do you want it to do well you can have it on ignore failures you can tell it to redirect rows to do something with those particular records and we will be exploring that shortly you can tell it to fail the component completely now by default when you created in 2008 that is the option that's on so that means that if you've got a particular um, region in your spreadsheet that is not in your lookup table the whole package fails well that's down to interpretation I would say no you would want to do something with those records that it doesn't find however it is an option you can have on here because it all depends on what you're going to do with those lookups and then finally you have another one to say redirect rows which is no match output which is the new option in 2008. In 2005 you only had the top three. Um, the final one is in 2008 so we'll, we'll be playing around with those shortly. Now by default on this package it's on ignore failure. Now that is for a reason. Um, we'll get on to that shortly. Let's go into the connection settings and so we've told it what um, connection to go to which is the database and then look at the lookup region table to obtain the information. So if I just preview that you'll see I've got a city of London, Birmingham, Sydney, Cape Town etc and an associated region. So when we're pulling the information in from the Excel file it'll immediately obtain the region ID and plop it into the actual results. Now, in 2008, there's a little bit of a snag. I was playing around with this for quite some time until I figured it out. If you have it on full cache and you have not prepared your data to the same extent in both the table and the spreadsheet, it will not find a match. Because what happens is when you pull it in from a spreadsheet, the text is padded, i.e. it will have lots of spaces after it, whereas the data in the table isn't padded. And because you've got padded versus unpadded it doesn't match which explains if I just cancel out of this back in the derived column in location you can see I've made it uppercase and I've told it to trim the location field which means that it will now be in the same state in both the spreadsheet as well as in the table so back in here um, our connection is just select um, the region and the city or the location. Um, let's go into the column section and as you can see I have the location and what I've done is I've dragged and dropped it across into the city field because remember the city is what we're looking at here which is London, Sydney etc and with that link across we're then saying I want to display the region ID so you could be wanting to return multiple values back on that particular lookup um, cache that you've got here. I just want the region ID. So if I OK that and then finally let's just look at the destination output you'll see that I have um, employees as the table selected and within the mappings I'm telling it to um, also include the region ID. Right, so enough talking let's just run it. So I'm going to just right click on the package and choose execute package and all being well there we go it says it's completed so let's go into um, 
the management studio now and if you open up the file which you've also downloaded in the zip um, which is off the C drive if you go to the PC teach me and scripts and look up example and select statement and then just run the top line which is the um, DBO employees now what you should find now is it's actually done the match between the region and the location fantastic however you will notice there are sections where it hasn't found a match specifically this USA one because let's face it USA is a country not a city so we need to do something extra with it now what I want you to do is just play around with this and if necessary in the database start adding additional things into um, the lookup region table um, because the lookup region table here you can just add whatever you want in and add more to the spreadsheet if you want have a play around with it until you're comfortable with the lookup now what we're going to do now is we're going to move on to the um, intermediate um, lookup to explain the differences so I'm going to close down the basic lookup go to intermediate again we've got the truncate let's go into the import employees so we've got the same two options at the top, um, but you'll now notice that I've now got an extra um, option going off to the side, which is the lookup error rows. So what am I doing differently? Well, let's have a look in here. So I'm telling it to redirect rows to the error output. So other than that, everything else is exactly the same. So what are we doing? Well, I'm telling it to go over to here, and if I open this up, you'll see that I'm telling it to go to a table called error region lookups. So let's run this and see what happens. So I'm going to again right click, execute the package, and off it goes. And all being well, it should work. But you'll notice that I've now got four rows on the pipe going to this particular error list. So let's just stop the execution of that, go into your management studio, and if we go to the errors region lookup, these are the records in the employees table that weren't able to be matched. Now have a look at employees. You'll find now that you will not have any nulls on the region ID because what I've done is with the lookup is I've told it to take those records which aren't found in the lookup and put them somewhere else. So this gives you the scope and control to actually say, OK, what do I do with these records now? Now, you may want to do it in a separate data flow task, or you may want to do it in the same data flow task, which is what the final option is. So let's just go into here and go to the advanced lookup. And we just pop into the data flow again, exactly the same. But you'll notice now that I've got another lookup happening now. What? is going on well I'm telling it to do the same thing as before look for the region if it doesn't find the region I then tell it to do another lookup the common errors list the lookup common errors region because I know very commonly people type in USA into that box so therefore I already know what the correct region should be so going back into the package again let's have a look you'll see that we've got um, if I double click on that, I'm telling it again to redirect errors, but let's have a look at the connection details and preview. And all it's doing is it's bringing back the region ID and USA as I've just shown you. But on the columns option, I'm telling it again to look at the location and look at the common errors area instead, then provide the region ID. And then what we've then got is if the lookup is successful, it will then merge the information, union the information with the um, correct records from the lookup and then put them to the destination. Or if there are still problems, they get spat, spat out into that common region errors option again. So if we just execute this advanced one now. Again, it'll clear down the tables, etc., etc. You'll see now what's gone on is it's gone down here. It's found 35 which are correct. However, it identified four rows which weren't correct. I then did the follow-on lookup, and as you can see, it's now found a match of those four rows. So that sort of explains very quickly what a lookup does, and hopefully has given you the options to proceed further with it. So with all that um, discussed, if you go and start amending the Excel file as well as the lookups, have a play around with the advanced one and see what you can get up to. So thanks for watching and I hope it's been informative.